Have you ever interviewed anyone that has brought you a lot of heat? Not yet. Not that much, to be completely honest with you. But with the... I, I've interviewed a couple of Norteños with uh, with the Rocha one. I don't see any problem with that. I, and, okay. and and I actually called out, not called out, but did a video about two weeks ago about Norteños. People are thinking that I hate anonymous. I said, hey, homie, I've been doing this. I interviewed Norteños like two or three years ago. I interviewed, I think, two. But like always, that vato's not a gangbanging Norteño. Yeah. That vato's not this. And I tell him, well, bring me a real Norteño. Bring me a real Norteño to the table. I will interview him. I've got... Nobody dictates what I do in my life as far as that goes, homie. I got nothing but love for that. It's just... Norteño, Sureño is just like 18th Street, Florencia. It's just the name of a street, just the name of a different group. Just so what? So we can fight one another. That's all it is. And it's just, it's just gangbanging. It's right. just gangbanging in a different form or, 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 or a different part of the state, right? Right. And the, and the same thing with, with uh, like upstate Sureños. And North, it's just gangbanging, guys. They'll be like, yo, you don't understand, Gil. I can't get along with, like some Norteños, I can't get along with these upstate Sureños. You guys are cool, but they're... Nah, homie, it's the same thing. You are just gangbanging. If that's the case, everybody that ever killed one of my homies, I should say fuck them then. Right. If that's the case, ain't no Norteño you ever killed one of my homies. And up there, yeah, you guys got it, but at the end, it's just gangbanging. It's right. gangbanging, and yeah. we gotta we gotta shake that shit. Right. You know, the, the first and only time I ever met a Norteño was in the LA County Jail. Uh, I was 17 years old. I was going up for 25 years to life. Um, I was 17 years old at that time. And I walked into the LA County Jail with the San Francisco jersey on. Out here in LA, that's no big deal. Right. You know, I mean, we were red, we were, the, the colors don't matter. Right. You know, so I walk in, no one hit, no one says nothing. You know, I turn in my clothes. I did a whole year in jail. I come out, um, I'm going through the LA County Jail through the through the cells. This is, uh, Twin Towers wasn't open yet. Right. So they, they were up, but they weren't open. Um, so I'm, you, I don't know if you, some of you know, remember that you go through all those cells before you get out. Right, right. right. When you're being processed. So, yeah, when yeah. you're being processed out, you go from this cell to the, it's just hopping around. And this dude comes up to me and he's like, hey, he's like, you Norteño? And I was like, I, I, I didn't know what a Norteño was, you know? I was like, what? And then um, he goes, yeah, I'm a Norteño. And then it, it took a little while for me to process that. You know, I'm 17 years old. I got trial as an adult. So I'm in the LA County Jail. Right. And um, well, actually, at this time, I was actually getting out. So I'm 18. Um, so I was like, hey, homie, you just keep your mouth fucking shut and don't say nothing, dog. And just, right. just fucking run your own fucking program. Just Russian, and, boy. And nah, Russian right hey, there, homie, boy. I was going up for murder, dog. I was going home, <laughs> dog. Like, okay, nah, Fuck that, dog. Russian, you know, I'm hoping I ain't got no more fucking... Yeah. No more fucking crimes on me so I can go home, right? So anyways, I ended up going home, but that was my first ever time ever meeting a Norteño, and since then. Right. And you I've know? heard a lot of people, I, I ran into Norteños yeah. three times. Uh, had riots with Norteños, had fights with Norteños, uh, and sat there and had conversation with Norteños, right? right. So right. I've actually ran into them and, and you know, had whatever mm -hmm. we did. And a lot of homies that sit there and say, ah, fuck those vatos. I remember I had a conversation with a guy, right? Mm -hmm. And one guy was... Specifically about you, about that conversation. They told me, hey, well, fuck that. Tony had this guy, David Rocha, and he fucking dissed the sur back in that when he was a rapper and all that. I said, hey, let me ask this. Have you ever ran into an Orteño in your life? He's like, nah, homie, but I said, come on, brother. You're looking for a reason to hate. And right. that's the problem. We are yeah. looking for a reason to keep the fight going on. Kids will look for a reason. Immature people will look for a reason to keep the fight going on. Men will sit there and say, wait, yes, tuvo. Right. How yeah. can we get this thing going? Because in reality, if you think about it, even business-wise, there's no money to be made while you're fighting. Yeah. No, yeah. we can make real money, real progress while we're getting together and working with one another. Are we all going to get along? No, we're not going to get along. Yeah, we're, we're not going to collect a, a pension or social security gangbang. No. Never. Uh, you nah. know, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Not one bit that I know well, is collecting <laughs> a pension. No, he's, he's getting it from SSI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The gangster, gangster relief. Gangster. <laughs> you know, I put in 50 years, I got 50 years and... I'm gonna use on my disability. You know? <laughs> no, okay, well, I had a couple of rappers and, and I'm not gonna mention them, but I'll say it because I know they're watching. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the guys that say they don't watch, those are the guys that watch. Yeah. Um, one guy said through a mutual friend, I would never fuck with that guy because he fucks with all Norteños. I interviewed an uh, ex right. and now he's a pastor. Mm -hmm. right. uh, now he's too friendly with those guys. Cool, here's my thing. I don't want you here then. If you're gonna come with that attitude, I don't want you here. I'm trying to provide a platform for the raza but you want to pick and choose and you want to dictate. I never said that this was an American Me podcast. 
Yeah. Yeah. I never said that. You never well, said this. this nah. was a, oh, would that person ever go to a major radio station and tell right. them that? Yeah. No, because they never get through. Exactly. See, they can get through to you through Instagram, right. through Facebook, right. through all that. So they right. have a direct connect to you. Right. So, but if they go to a major radio station, they're going to tell you, go fly a fucking yeah. kite, homie. Like, like, like you don't run, you know, you know, uh, Blood In, Blood Out podcast. No, right? yeah. <laughs> so, no, no, no. You know, but did, a lot of people think that, that that's what this is. Yeah. And, and I'm and like, it's not that. bro, it's for artists. Mm -hmm. It's free promotion. Okay. Now, here's my thing. I've never charged anyone mm -hmm. for the interview, and I've never paid yeah. anyone for an interview. I, I wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. The only time, and this was just recently, right. that I paid for somebody's flight, and it was because of this, and I'll say the artist's name, because I got res respect from Tash from the Alcoholics. I had booked them about a month ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And the day before, I sent them my address, and I said, hey, well, I'll see you tomorrow around 6.30. <laughs> and, and he, he said, said, what? <laughs> yeah, he said, bro, I thought this was Zoom. And I said, no, dude. Yeah, you out here. So, so we talked for about 30 minutes. He goes, how can we make this happen? I go, bro, let me just look. Because uh, where do you stay? He goes, I stay in Las Vegas. So let me see what the flights are. Yeah. It was $150. Yeah, and I said, look, bad. bro, yeah. I don't want to cancel because it'll look like fucking false advertisement. A lot of people are hyped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was oh, the yeah. only time that I actually ever paid. It's like giving somebody gas money. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's we're, it. We're not getting paid for this shit? Bro. No. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's it, man. Wait a minute. We're not getting paid. Ah, oh, cut this shit. We're out of here. We're not getting paid for this shit? No, no. Oh, Jesus. You know, what, you know what's crazy, bro? There was only one guy when I asked them, uh, and most people submit their music, but there's certain ones that I don't mind going after. Right. And I was like, yeah. hey man, you done to do an interview? He goes, what's the budget? And I said, no, no. I said, it's yeah. all good, homie. Yeah, We're yeah, good. yeah, you're out. But but listen, yeah. I could see myself all day long if the platform, I could see you doing all, the, if the platform was big enough, I would pay for people to fly in, get them a hotel room. That, yeah, because mm -hmm. you can't expect somebody to come out here if they're right. out of town and do that. If, if, if that was the case, yeah, absolutely. But I wouldn't sit there and tell somebody, I'll give you five racks. I and mean, there's a lot of guys. That, right. They, they don't know. That. Well, that's also another thing. We hit that hundred thousand, Tony. I'm calling all these fools out. I'm pulling, and I'm still will at the end of the year. I'm pulling all their covers. I'm gonna be like, all right, people, this is what these guys charge. This is your favorite rapper. He's charging this much. This is your favorite rapper, and I'm gonna tell those rappers, all right, I got the money. You gonna come on or not? That would be like, ah. because you'll go to Vlad TV, you'll go to uh, No Jumper, you'll go to all these white, black. You'll run to those. You'll run yes. to them. But to a Rasa one, they will not come, mm -hmm. homie. And yep. that's a shame on them. They should not do that. Now, a lot of people, I'm going to say this, I won't say their names. If you have not seen your favorite Chicano rapper here, yeah. mm -hmm. it's because they have too many conditions. Here's what they said. I'm all about positivity. I'm not, n no negativity. Can you turn off the live chat? Nope. Can you turn off the comments once the video is posted? Nope. Can we not do it live? Nope. I can't be in one place more than two hours. I'm like, bro, fuck. This <laughs> yeah, motherfucker's yeah. acting like he's fucking you know, in chopper or something. They're, 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 <laughs> they're very right? fearful. I've gotten, I've gotten, I've gotten quite a few that they're going to come on. Like some major guys. I mean, major mm -hmm. in, 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 uh, not just rap, major in, in uh, like uh, Mexican music. Okay. And they've all pretty much said yes. And I'm like, all right, I'm waiting. I hit them right. up. They canceled a couple of times. I don't post it. I'm like, all right, all right. So like I said, I'm going to see who's who and what's what. Right. And that's what this mm -hmm. year is going to be. And that May 21st event, we're going to see who's who and what's what. Now, there's there's three dudes that are Raza that we've had conversations. Yes. Th this is just not through DM. Conversations. Yes. Yeah. You want to come through? Yeah. They never came through. But I'll tell you what, when Vlad or No Jumper win, yeah, they fucking it. ran over they're there. On it. Yes. Yep. You yes. know, now one thing is we, we we all say on our Instagram, Viva La Raza, Brown Pride, whatever, but yet you go run over there, yes. you mm -hmm. won't give Raza an opportunity. Yes. You know, and, and here's the thing. I don't want to sound mean, but I, I didn't really want your goofy ass here. The, the, the thing was that the, the you fans- You sounded mean, Tony, you sounded yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah, I know, oh, but, but it feels good. Yeah. But, okay, and here, here's the thing. I'm giving the fans what they want. And if you don't want to give the fans yes. what they want and they support you, don't support them anymore. Yes, mm -hmm. straight up. You know, Straight don't support up. these guys. Straight you know, up. but that just goes back to how we fucking hate on each other. You know, we always I don't, we have that hater gene. You know, between us, Cali Max. But we, but we, we need know? to we need to call it out. Somebody told me it's true. Somebody yeah. told me, um, hey, and I think it was uh, it was one of the actors on the Mayans, right? And like, Gil, you can't be saying this kind of stuff. You can't be doing this. Those are the only actors we have. I'm like, well, if they're not helping us, then why does it matter? That means they're just about their money. Yeah. That's straight up. That means they're just mm -hmm. about their money. They're not really stepping up to the plate. And they're like, step up to the plate, what? Well, I said, remember BLM, Black Tuesday? They all put 
they blacked out on their Tuesday. Every anything that happened, yeah, we're gonna go for it. When it comes to our problems, when it comes to our issues. They're nowhere Crickets, to be found because why? Crickets, because it's not popular. Bro. Because we're not trending. Well, we're not trying to trend. We're trying to do what's right for our people. Huh? Period. That's it. You know what? Uh, there was a lot of rasa that was all for uh, uh, Black Lives major. Matter. Oh, boy, and, major. And, and let me tell you something. And I want to say that we're not saying that you shouldn't. No, of course not. What we're mm-hmm. saying is how much more should you do for your own? Bring yeah. that same energy to us, brother. Yep. Bring that positive energy. Bring bring that uh, that exposure to us. But no, it's like mm-hmm. they're... they're like I said, they're not trending. We're not trending because why? Because we're not pushing up on the Oscars. We're not pushing up on entertainment. If you look at TV nowadays, every channel you see from channel 2 to channel 13, which is regular cable, right? right. You're going to see an African-American. You're going to see a white. You're going to see a biracial kid. You're not going to see a Latino. If you do see a Latino, he might be LGBTQ Latino, right? The LGBTQ is pushing their agenda. More power to them. The Black Lives Matter are pushing their agenda. More power to them. Why aren't we pushing our agenda? Callate, wey, no digas nada. No, if you want to shut up and go to the corner, you can go and shut up and go to the corner. I'm going to speak, homie, and hopefully people will listen. We'll get a movement. We should be in front of the Oscars next year talking about, no, we're not going to go to the Oscars, telling our celebrities, don't go to the Oscars. Where is, where's the representation at the Oscars? Nobody. Where's the representation at the, at the, at the, in the radio? Nobody. Netflix is probably the only one that shows a lot of Latino stuff. But other than that, we're nowhere to be seen. Why? Because we're not making any noise. Yeah, we're but not we're the generation noise. that's making that noise. Because if you look at our tias and our moms and all that, they were the ones always telling us to, oh, be quiet. Yeah, but not no be more. Calm, be not... calm. So we're the generation to make that change. Well, we're trying to. You know, yeah, we're trying to. And we're, we're the. Now, it, here's one thing that somebody told me about a year and a half ago. And I have to respect this. And maybe you guys can elaborate a little bit all on right. it. Mm-hmm. Some dude respectfully told me, Tony, the reason why a lot of raza doesn't make noise. Mm-hmm. Because we're here illegally. Mm-mm. That's bullshit. Mm-hmm. Okay. That that would go back in the 80s. Okay. Back in the 90s. That is why we used to say, don't say anything. Mama used to say, don't make no noise because she's slanging cocaine, right? Right. Uh, other people, yeah, you were there illegally. So that was true back in those days. Nowadays, all the kids born here are legal. All the kids born here are citizens. California is a place where they're not deporting you like that. California is a sanctuary fucking state pretty much, right? We don't make noise because we're fucking with owners and we'd rather sit there and watch TikTok and watch Crip Mac go crap than actually fucking do some work, <laughs> homeboy. And that's the fucking truth. Whether they want to hear it or not, they'd rather hear some buffoonery ass shit yep. than hear some shit that's really going to get us ahead, homeboy. And that's the fucking fact. No custard shit. No custard <laughs> shit, homeboy. Shout I, out to Crip I, Mac, homeboy. Don't be talking shit about it. That's not, yeah. I'm just using an example. You're right. But that's what it is. We're not illegals anymore. Anymore. Mm-mm. We're fucking citizens of this country, and we need to use the same game that they've came up on to make our people go ahead. People be like, "Well, yeah. first of all, this ain't Mexico anymore. That war is over. All right, if you want to go fight that war, get on your horse and fucking with a slingshot, go against the tanks, <laughs> homie. That war is over, and no disrespect yeah. to them. This is America. All right, we're part of America. We actually make America better, but we need to sit there and use the same political power that America has. If they knew Latinos were voting a certain way, they would cater to us, homie. They would cater. They don't cater to us. Why? Because we we're that vote. cook. We're that cleaner that don't say anything. Oh, mm-hmm. eres bien trabajador. Sigue trabajando, güey. I, I, I use this analogy, Tony. You got a white guy, you got a black guy, you got a Latino guy. Latino guy's been there for 10 years. The white and black guy just started. Within five years, that white and black guy getting more money. Why? Because that Latino guy's a hard-ass worker. He no dice nada. The white guy's gone over there. Hey, jefe, can I, hey, boss, can I, get a, can I get a raise? All right, here you go. Black guy goes in there. Hey, can I get a raise? Yeah, here you go. How about the Mexican guy, Latino guy? Has he asked for a raise? No? All right. Are you going to pay him anymore? Fuck no. That's how cutthroat business is. And if we don't make any noise politically, we don't make any noise in America, we're going to be that same fucking sucker out there. But I'm tired of being a sucker. Absolutely, man. Yeah, Damn. we're the ones making the change. Yes. American Cholo, Rodian Radio, Hoodstocks, uh, Mega well, Man. Well, we got voices, Incredible dude. Hall. We yeah, got voices. We're starting to make and that. all this stuff is we can use. We can use. Listen, we can all do it. This is what I tell people, too. And I've spoken to people like, hey, girl, I, can't, I don't really fuck with you. You get too political. I said, listen, brother, you don't need to get political. <laughs> I, I'll be the bad guy. Yeah. But you need to give me that exposure. Come on the show and just show some love. We won't talk politics. There's many guys that I bring on. I don't talk politics. I right, know, right. No, that's the business. No problem. Mm-hmm. But give me that exposure that you give to Vlad TV. That right. you give to No Jumper. Because No Jumper, Vlad TV, all they're doing, they're making money off blacks. A little bit of brown. They're just making money off. Uh, no Jumper is really just... 
making the gang community worse for the black people because he's, he's throwing all their drama out to their fucking it'll be like me bringing different foods from different hoods talking shit about each other v Vlad does the same shit yeah I've seen it Vlad does the same shit and a lot of these guys don't a lot of these guys starting to wake up that some people think that this guy works for the feds right you know because a lot of these guys come out and get arrested because they go in there and fucking spill their guts spill their guts yeah, yeah. but you I know? wouldn't ask those guys those kind of questions but to me it's to hire guys who are Latino raza who have platforms Come on, brother. Let, I'll be the bad guy. I'll be the guy talking all that shit. But just come on to sit there and let people say, oh, shit, look what this guy's talking about. Because I think more people hear what we're talking about on our platform, Tony, they're like, fuck, that guy kind of makes sense, homie. You know? Yeah, it, it hurts. It, it, it touches you. It touches like, right. ugh. It duele, pero. When somebody's telling you the truth, hey, wait, va a doler, wey. Si estás todo panzonzote y te vas a morir, wey, y le digo, hey, wey, estás bien panzon, wey, bájale. Te va a doler, but I'm telling you the truth. Right. Would it be better me to tell you, yeah. oh, no, here, keep on drinking, keep on getting fucked up? Se murió, ah, pobre. No, tell the guy the truth. They do slow it down a little bit. Right. Very true. It's like one time I gave just this example and I said, hey, look, uh, if you go to the doctor, would you want the doctor to tell you the truth? Yeah. You know, you stop eating the way you're eating or you're going to die. Yeah. Period. Right. Or he can say, uh, I'm going to give you some aspirins and uh, you'll be good. You'll be good. Yeah, you'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> Just take a little more insulin. And then eight months from now, you're down. Uh, why did you tell me? Oh, I thought that's what you wanted to hear. Yeah. Right. I know the truth hurts, but honestly, I, I, I would rather hurt you with the truth than comfort you with the lie. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And I think a lot of times, many of us, no, no, I don't want to say nothing because I'll get, I'll get fucking fired or... Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what it is. I've always been one of these people to, to speak out, to, to lead. Right. You yeah. know, and I like it that you're doing the same thing, you, you know. Uh, now, as far as this unity meeting, I know yes. people have been asking, uh, what made you, what inspired this and when is it, uh, fill us in.